You're watching Ned the Dead and Doc Moreau. Check out their stuff at nedthedead.com. Welcome to Chiller Theater. Sorry. Ned the Dead. Doc Moreau. Featuring. Chiller Theater, it's my kind of show. It's a crazy show, it's a happy show. It's my show, you know. Sorry, fine. Hey, everybody, welcome to Chiller Theater. I'm Ned the Dead. With us tonight is the crew, the gang, the crazy group of people, and uh, it's all good all the time. It's Nate, it's Rachel, it's Joaquim and Malengua. It's everybody here, and soon the horrible Dr. Moreau. Tonight's movie's called Prehistoric Women. It's fun, it's funky, and I know you're gonna love it. So enjoy yourselves, check it out, and come on back. We got plenty. of the prehistoric world before the first historian sat down to write the story of his people is vague. It's founded on the research of archaeologists. Their studies of people and dwellings which existed in those times existed not only in rocky wastelands, but in the warmer climates, in lush prehistoric jungles. Not so very long ago, an explorer in a wild tropic jungle found evidence which told this story. Nobody knows when these events took place, Maybe 10,000, maybe 100,000 years ago. It's the story of romance when the world was young. And as all romances must, it concerns itself mainly with one man, Angor, and one woman, Tigri. This is the woman of our story. She is Tigri, the leader of her tribe. Under the spell of the full moon, Tigri and the women of her tribe dance restlessly, savagely, impelled by a feeling of frustration, of a promise unfulfilled. They dance not knowing why and continue until exhausted.
Fro. The wise one tells them to be calm. Fro. This is Loti. This is Arba. This is Tigre. You've met her before. This is Tule. This is Eros. This is Nika. This is the wise one. Old as the moon and wise as the sun. She knows why the young ones dance so restlessly in the light of the full moon. She's telling them the story of the founding of their tribe. She explains that many moons ago, the tribe was founded by Tana, the mother of Tigri. In those days, the women were the slaves. And in Tana's tribe, as in all other tribes, no woman dared question the men. The men needed only to order, and the trembling women hastened to obey. She tells them that when they were small children, they lived deep in the jungle, the young ones of a band of jungle dwellers. This is Tigri's mother, Tana. She and the others have stopped for a momentary rest, tired from carrying the carcass of a dead animal. The angry leader of the tribe comes back to find out why the women are falling behind. To him, weariness is no excuse. Gora, Gora, Gora. Tana and the other women wearily pick up the carcass and continue. completely exhausted and must pause again for rest. Angrily, the leader storms back and yells for them to get going. Bro! Bora! Please! The rebellious I... Tana tells him that the men should carry the dead animal. <laughs> To the ground, the infuriated, desperate Ella. Tana throws a rock at the leader, felling him. Ella. Ella. Tana immediately realizes that they must flee with the children, or the men of the tribe will take revenge on them. The women quickly gather the children and rush off into the jungle. The stunned leader orders the men to go after the women, but the women have eluded them. The wise old woman tells them how, as time passed, the tribe prospered under Tana's able leadership, and the little girls learned how to fend for themselves. They all learned the skills of hunting and fishing for their food. The child on shore, like all children are wont to do, decides to wander off and do a little exploring herself. The entire tribe is unaware that they have been sighted by the terrible Gwadi. This nine foot tall monster has roamed the jungle for years, bringing death and destruction to whatever he touches. Tana sees the little girl is missing and calls to the other women to follow her in search of the child. 
Savage, merciless, possessed of Herculean strength, Roddy is the most feared thing in the prehistoric world. The little girl explains to the wise one as best she can that she has seen the terrible giant. Guadi! Guadi! Ela! Eras! Eras! Tule! Ela! Ela! Guadi has successfully captured two of the women and is carrying them off. Tano was the only one to get away, but has been mortally hurt and dies with Guadi's name on her lips. Guadi. Guadi. The wise old woman flees with the children. Guadi! Even Guadi. now, 15 years later, the mention of the dreaded name of Guadi still strikes terror in the hearts of these same girls. They know that the hideous giant still ranges the jungle. Anir! Anir! Anir. The wise one tells them that they must forget their Anir. hatred of Anir, their word for men. The moon is full. By the time of the advent of the next full moon, they must find and capture themselves husbands if the tribe is to survive. And the next morning, the six determined women set forth on their mission, accompanied by one of their panthers. This is the man of our story. He is Engor. This is Engor's friend, Ruik. This is Kama and the bearded Ad. Angor and his friends are on a foraging expedition. They are hunting food for their cave-dwelling tribe. They've cornered a savage tiger and are pitting their skill with stone-headed war clubs against this vicious monster of the jungle. The Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Look! Ram called Coney Island Penny Machine. Win a prize! Let's go in. And look at the wonderful prizes you can win. I'm going to win a watch for you. The penny in the slot, and... Look at the prizes go round and round. Bracelets, whistles, harmonica. This lever moves the bucket from side to side. This lever moves the bucket up and down. Here goes. You've almost got the watch. You've got it. Down the chute. 
right now to come. You just made it. The timer says finish. Kids, this is a toy you've got to have. Remco's Coney Island Penny Machine. Only $12.98 at your favorite toy store. It comes complete with a giant bag of wonderful toy prizes. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy. And so do girls. Welcome back to Chillin' Theater. It's the story of romance. They dance not knowing why until they're tired. What is wrong with them? Hey, speaking of dancing and not knowing why, it's the horrible Dr. Moreau. How are you, Dr. Moreau? This is Ned. This is Brett. This is Cl Here, what was I have the names right here. Here we go. This is Lotai. Lotai. Arva. Arva. Tigri. Tigri. Garas. Tigri. Nika. Go back to Tigri. I know, is that not the funniest thing? I mean, first Tigri. of all, you gotta love to be an actor in this movie. You don't say a word ever, right? Ever. There is not. You got a narrator. Right, and it's completely narrated. Nobody most, speaks a language. Right, so. well, a lot of movies have, they're narrated and, you know, they go on and, you know, the narrator talks for maybe the first two minutes and then the movie commences, right? Do you have yeah. something behind your you back or what are you up. doing back there? Nothing. Are you just saving it? Yeah, nothing. All right, everybody, here we go. What is that? Let's get back to prehistoric equipment, then we'll come back and talk to you because we love you. Goodbye. The panther, smelling the blood of a dead tiger, excitedly breaks away from the girls. They chase after their pet. Kala. uses the sap from a tree to soothe Angor's wounds. Suddenly, Ard falls unconscious. Angor and his tribesmen are amazed to see that they've been attacked by members of the weaker sex. Back on! Thank you. 
order the man to pick up the dead panther and carry him back to their camp. In the meantime, Angor stumbles along through the jungle back to his people. Ned the Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. It's the Action Kid. What in the world are they up to now? Let's get right down to business. Business? What business? Fun business! The Fun Pack Carry All Action Playset by Marks. Look, this opens up the wild action world of Fort Apache. With Indians, cavalrymen, shell-shooting cannons. And here are the fighting knights. With a real drawbridge, knights, vikings, and rock-throwing catapults. Here's the boot camp. With 10 jeep bullet-shooting machine guns and 80 soldiers. Or land a helicopter at Cape Kennedy. Fire the rockets, back the space missile into the launching pad, and start the countdown. It's off into space. Zoom! Get Port Apache, get the Fighting Knights, get the Boot Camp, get Kate Kennedy. Get all four and carry your own world of action wherever you go. The Rugged Steel Carry All Action Play Sets by Marks. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Hey, the women utilize the rock and the hanky. Isn't that cool? Do you ever do the rock and the hanky? Yeah. No. I've, civilized women use the hanky, but well, where did the term women hanky? Put rocks where in? did the term hanky? I wonder if it's still called a hanky. If you went to a kid, I like. Let's say you went to a 13-year-old and said, "Can I use your hanky?" I bet you they wouldn't have any idea. Oh. Well, kids, you tell me. If I say, "May I use your hanky?" Do you even know what I'm talking about with a hanky? With the old rock and the hanky? That probably sounds creepy no. to you, doesn't hanky it? Hanky pinky. Stop uh, that. I know what Stop that. that. It's, uh, I know what that is. That's a song, I think. Hey, we know, you know, hanky pinky. Do you like this, kid? This is a, for, a forgotten film genre from the 50s, the Bad Caveman movie. Oh, see, I got him. They I got just him. don't make him anymore. I got old Natester right there. I got him. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we go. He doesn't know whether he's foot or horseback. What's, there what's we go. That? I don't know about that. He's always All giving right. me the fist. I'll tell you what. This what's is a good one. I really do like this stuff. Tremendous fighting scene. This is a funny movie all the way through. We're going to go check out more of it right now.
type of women are these Ruig wonders who attack men and live in trees? Nika gazes at her captive, entranced by her first close look at a male. is the home of Angor's tribe, and these are his people. They are mountain people, cave dwellers. Ayla. Their leader looks skyward at a soaring vulture, knowing that where the vulture settles, Ayla. they will find a wounded or dead animal. He motions for his hunters to follow him. Frog. Men find the wounded and exhausted Ingor and carry him back to the cave. mother and the rest of the cave dwellers crowd around the wounded Angor. His mother motions them to carry Angor into the cave where she can tend. Weeks have gone by and the leader of the cave dwellers is marking on the rocks the story of the women as Angor has told it to him. Time has healed Angor's wounds and despite the leader's protest, Angor is determined upon revenge. Angor. Gene. Angor vows to rescue his tribesmen and to bring back to this cave as slaves the women who captured them. Angor. Angor. Ela. Angor's mother, who knows of the women tribe, points out Not the right wrong. direction to Angor. Oro. She tells him he must cross Oro. two mountain ranges that it will take him two days' journey to reach the country of the women tribe. sense alive for the sound or sight of danger, Angor makes his way through the jungle toward the camp of the women. <laughs> Angor
Igor stumbles and loses his weapon, but cannot stop for it. He finally eludes the elephant by jumping behind a large boulder and the lumbering animal passes him by. Having lost his only weapon, Angor must make a new club. His only protection against the many dangers lurking in the jungle. You're watching Ned the Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Patrol is in position. You're in a tough spot. But you have the amazing new multi-pistol 09 fire grenade that bursts. Aim through telescopic sight. Fire bomb that blasts. And if you're trapped, surprise, out comes your secret derringer. You have done it with multi-pistol 09. The only pistol that gives you all this. Exploding grenade. Cap-loaded bomb. Fire short-range bullets. Fires long-range bullets. Message missile. Anti-armor rocket. And the secret Derringer cap pistol. There's never been anything like it before. For action, excitement, firepower. Get it all in this rugged carrying case. Get multi-pistol online. Multi-pistol online. Multi-pistol online. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Fantastic moment <laughs> in this movie. Fantastic moment. The guys. Now, see, have you figured out yet that the guys are stupid and that the women rule? I don't know if you right, you figure that out right <laughs> oh, away. They're guys. All right, so the guys are there, and they, they this great thing, and he says, the, um, you know, Mom Binte, or whatever his name is, saw a vulture. And summoned his hunters, <laughs> summoned his hunters to, to hunt for carcass? I mean, what do you need carcass. hunters for? If it's already dead, you just summon his carriers or summon his garbage collectors or whatever. Why would you summon your hunters if it's dead? These dudes are such losers that they hunt dead stuff? What is that? I mean, how do you hunt? What, you know, a lot of times, a lot of things, you know, you hunt, uh, usually you hunt masking your smell, you hunt dead things by smelling. Smelling. Yep, there's dead stuff over there. Things it's a, that it's a scent. Pattern. Things that ambulate. It is. It's ambulation, and I hate that. Eat All know. right, let's ambulate back to the movie, and then I we'll ambulate right back here. Let's ambulate. gathers some stones to use for the head of his club. He starts hacking two of them together to make a sharp edge. A spark ignites the dry leaves on the ground and Engor is taken aback by the strange unknown phenomenon, fire. He stretches his arm out to touch it and draws his hand back in pain. He doesn't understand it, but he knows that this new discovery of his has the power to inflict injury. fascinated by the wonder of the first torch. Peer, he calls it peer, his word for fire.
The hiss of a python in the tree startles him to his feet. He jabs the torch into the water after the snake. To his surprise, he finds the fire has disappeared. He jabs the torch back again, trying to regain the fire, but it's gone. Strangely enough, the swan dive was invented before the swan. Tigris jungle women have developed great skill in swimming, and it's one of their favorite recreations. On this night, Tigri, Eris, and Tule are enjoying an evening swim in this jungle pool. streams, Angor continues on his way. He is now approaching the outskirts of the jungle territory. Suddenly, he sees ahead of him the huge giant Guadi. Terrified, Angor decides that the tree is his best hiding place and quickly climbs up into it.
Hanno. Hanno. Hello. Women were women in those days, too. A handsome male captive makes his appearance, and suddenly there's trouble. Angor! Angor! Rui! Angor! Angor! Ah! Angor! Bro, Tigri is not sure yet why she objects, but she wants no interference until she decides whether or not she herself wants him as her husband. Bro! Cora! Bro! Hano! Bangor is tempted to strike back at his captor. But the ever-watchful, snarling panther is a warning for him to be careful. He decides that caution is better than tangling now with this strange band of women. Watching Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Let's go to the dry Mojave Desert to prove palm olive rapid shave soaks whiskers soft even without water. Without using any water, this man applies rapid shave directly to his tough, dry beard. Look what rapid shave's own moisturizing power plus 17 beard softeners can do. Whiskers come off smooth and clean. Proof, Rapid Shave soaks whiskers soft, even without water. Imagine the fast, smooth shaves you'll get at home with all the water you want. Get Palm Olive Rapid Shave. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Ingor discovered fire. <coughs> How was that? <laughs> I just discovered James. what a phlegm-covered hand can James. do to a white coat. Sorry about that. Did you enjoy when Angor discovered fire? Was yes. that not the funniest thing in the world? Ugh. Burning himself with it. He was the first one. And then the huge giant Gaudi or whatever his name is, Gwadi. 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 Goes, comes by and then just has an apple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Arr, arr, and the dude's up in the tree freaking out. Arr, 
Oh, you know, just bites into the Think apple and tearing the head off. Something. I know, and instead he's and just having wrong. himself a Fuji or a Macintosh. Yeah, I like the Fuji apples. I don't know. How do you feel about those? Oh, I or occasionally know. I like a Gala. You know what I mean? And that's not apples. Do but you know, I, there's really only one person in this film that ever mounted anything. Was that Tigri? Yeah. What Tig Tigri, Tigri is played by Laurette Luez. And she claims she gave Marilyn Monroe her stage name. There you go. There Met her in an acting class. There it is, right there. That's Price. it. That night, with the rest of the camp asleep, Angor decides that this is his chance for escape. Quietly, he starts to climb down the vine. Now, ah, this is easy, Angor thinks. But he's not reckoned with the ever alert panther, who evidently has just been waiting for him. Tigri orders the women to feed their men. Arba decides that this is a good time for her to make up to Engor and starts to bring him some food. Sudden rage floods Tigri as she sees this. Arva. She angrily informs Arva that she has decided that Angor is to be her husband. Arva, I'm near. But Arva violently disagrees. Tigri, I'm near. And so the fight is on. <laughs> I'm 
Angor labors over a huge rock, which Tigri has ordered him to move. He can't budge it. Tigri shakes her head at the stupidity of men. Angor finally gives up, humiliated by her look of scorn. Gene, Elko, Lethal. He asks her if she is so wise and superior, why doesn't she see if she can move the rock? Tigri picks up a huge branch and using simple leverage, shows anger how easy it is to move the rock if you use your head. Engor. Tigri. Engor. Tigri? <laughs> Engor. <laughs> this is the night before the full moon. Time is running out for the male captives. By tomorrow, the marriage ceremonies will have been completed. one drums and the women dance as Angor and the men look on with mixed emotions. And as he watches the dance, the women pick up their clubs and demonstrate that in their homes, they will be the master. Surrounded by the watching women and the ever-guarding panther, the men sit idly while Ruig, who seems to have a fetish for being clean-shaven, is scraping his cheek with a sharp-edged stone. figure a way out of this trap.
Suddenly, a tremendous black shadow sweeps over the camp. It is Korax, the flying dragon, the scourge of the skies. The Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Seal test. Black Raspberry Royale ice cream. New, new black Raspberry Royale ice cream. Treat the whole family to seal test like raspberry royale. Their eyes will be king size. Treat them all royally to seal test like raspberry royale. Mm. Their size will be king size. Mm. Right now, new black raspberry royale ice cream reigns as seal test's extra special flavor. Creamy rich with the mmm -mm of juicy black raspberries in every spoonful. No wonder more people enjoy Seal Test than any other ice cream. Enjoy royally delicious Seal Test. Black Raspberry Royale Ice Cream. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Boy, now I know where they thought up the script for wrestling women versus the Aztec, uh, Aztec <laughs> mummy or whatever. This wrestling thing is just, it's spectacular. Some of the moves and stuff are great. Are you Here's the other thing I don't get. Now, they've mastered knot tying to the part where they can tie a bowlin, but yet they've never heard of fire. I mean, how does this, because mm. I, I figure to myself, when fire, I'm thinking fire came before like sailing knots. Maybe that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh, I mean, when you see them tie, you know, tie a, a double quarter masted French gurney knot, and then yet be freaked out by fire, that's a little strange. You know, uh, what, uh, you know what I'm saying? These uh, women, I love this though. This movie is actually very entertaining. I think. Do you find it entertaining? When I when I can see what's going on. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I know. It's, it's got a little bit of darkness. It's a little dark. Too. It is a little dark. I think they color. shot night for night. That's is, what I'm thinking. I think you're right. All right, everybody, go back. Enjoy. And so the tables are turned. The dominant male is happy and contented. Women wait on him as though he were a king.
Tigri. at Angor's command is out gathering fruit. She's hungry and would like to eat some of the fruit, but no, Angor forbids it. The once proud, fiery leader of the tribe meekly obeys. Bro, Siko. offers a piece of raw meat to Angor, who's intrigued by the scent of the meat in the fire. fine and he offers some to Kama and Tigri. At first they refuse. When they taste it, they both agree that it is delicious. Hello. And so, for the first time, cooked meat goes on the menu of this primitive tribe, and civilization progresses another step. Angor's thoughts are of his home and his people. gives orders that they will start on their long trek back to the mountain home of Angor's tribe. Tigri, Iko, Angor. Iko, Bora. Ela, Ela. Angor leads them through the jungle, ever alert for the lurking dangers which abound there.
the Dad's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. These young girls just asked me what I use to keep my skin looking so soft. Well, here's what I use. New Super Lathering Camay. Gives twice the lather old Camay did. Girls, come here. Let me show you my new discovery. Donna, you take this new Camay. Audrey, I'll give you this bar of old Camay. Now lather them up. I can tell you now, Audrey will need two bars of the old Camay to get the lather Donna will get with one bar of the new. Now let's take a look. Twice the lather from new Camay. So creamy. More lather, creamier lather. What a combination for soft skin. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. You know, I don't know about you. I don't know why the dudes <laughs> want to leave. I'd rather stay with the babes. You'd think. Well, I, they, I don't know. Well, even if, even if you're there under they, their thumb or whatever. They throw rocks at you. All right, well, stones. I know what, they're hinkies. They're but if you dangerous. go back to, you know, let's say your choice is to go be with the water buffalo or to be with the babes. I'll go ahead and be with the babes. Or, I don't the, know if you, or the guati. Or if you want to spend some time with the water buffalo or Wasn't with the Wasn't that a cool looking mastodon that was chasing Engor a while it ago? It was very nice. But the bird, the giant bird, it looked like a giant pelican yeah, there to was, me. There was some was pelican. It, did it look like a pelican to you? There was. Now they, seem to... Also, the old woman they called the wise one, but yes. she's, of course, the horrible old hag. I'd rather be the, you know, <laughs> the cute one or whatever. I'm sorry. If I had to choose, you know what? Thank you. I you don't have to worry about you're that. Saying, <laughs> you're saying I am the cute one. Thank you very much. I feel the same way about you, my friend. All right, everybody, let's head back to it. It's prehistoric women. Uh, there it is. No, it's, uh, no raptors. The Where fact the that you have that puppet is frightening. Get uh. Angor spots a natural cave off in the clearing and orders the group to rush toward it. Gwadi decides to use his tremendous strength to topple over the huge rock covering the top of the cave so that it will crush the men and women inside. Thank <laughs> you. 
orders the other men to make torches. The giant stumbles away, howling with pain. Angor orders the other men to encircle the area with fires so they can forge a burning circle of death for Gwadi. by the leaping flames and terrified by the fire. He screams in fear. Angor finds himself also trapped by the encircling fire and sees that his only escape is to go over it. Tigri looks with admiration at Angor. Tigri? Iko? She asks him to change his mind and return to the women's camp with his men, where they can start a new tribe. Angor, Iko, Tigri. Eva. Angor, Iko, Tigri. Angor agrees and tells his friends he has decided to remain. This old woman is happy as she sees the pairing off of the couples. She knows now there will be peace between the tribes and that the tribe will increase. She motions for Angor and Tigri to come to her. Angor, Tigri, 
Kalmos. She is going to perform the only kind of marriage ceremony she knows. With the blending of their blood, Angor and Tigri's marriage is completed. The first of four marriages to be celebrated that moonlit night. As the women dance the marriage ceremonial to show their happiness. Day. The eternal battle for supremacy between woman and man was solved not through the clout and the club, but through romance. So they discover fire three days ago, and now they're sitting by the uh, campfire uh, eating Guadi s'mores. Angor Eco Tigri. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? Oh, I know, buddy. I'll tell you what. What is that? No, I wonder, you know, it's uh, really, once again, dialogue was not an issue in this thing. <sighs> And you'd figure if all they was looking for was good-looking people that they would have had better-looking people in it, don't you think? Well, maybe now that they got cooked meat, they just, now that they've discovered fire, uh, maybe the, the pretty people will, will survive. Well, I'll tell you what, I always, that's how I judge whether I'm going to go to something or not, if they have cooked meat there. Because if they have, like, you know, lunch meat or cold meat, I like things that have the warm cooked meat. I am much more likely to go to them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we want to thank everybody. We want to thank Van Vrides, of course, for their participation in Chiller Theater. Next week, She Beast. Oh, that is the she And after that, She Demons. She Beast, She Beast, She Beast, She Beast. We got, we got She Movies. It coming. is. She, double on the She Movies. She Beast. We got she a beast. whole bunch of yada, She yada, for yada, you yada, coming yada, up. She Beast. She All right, everybody. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for watching Ned the Dead and Doc Moreau. Remember to check out their stuff at nedthedead.com. Yeah.